Good morning, everybody. My name is Max Vizzini, and I would like to welcome you to this brief STM Electronic System Solution presentation dedicated to entry-level AVIS kit. Nowadays, AVIS systems are mandatory by law for electric vehicles driving at low speed in areas with pedestrians. Our AVIS kit is composed by three boards. An MCU board named AKMCU C1M Lite 1, hosting our 1 MB flash automotive microcontroller SPC582B. An audio board named AKAG D903V1, hosting a Class D single channel audio amp FDA903D. And a connector board named AKCON C1D9031, used to facilitate the connection of MCO and audio boards while hosting a CAN transceiver. Let's see now how to assemble the boards together. The first step consists in filling the connector board with jumpers in J2. Let's just leave empty the one on pin 1920. The second step consists in plugging the slider board on J5 connector. Once done, we proceed with connecting the audio board. Next step is to connect the speaker to J1 present on the audio board. If you would like to stabilize the system, you could mount two spacers in the corner of the audio board. We are now ready to connect an ACDC or DCDC 12V to J3 in the audio board. Please do not power on for the moment. Now take the MCU board and plug it on top of J1 in the connector board. With this connection we have completed the hardware configuration. We now proceed with the software configuration. We connect the MCU with the USB cable to the PC and we proceed with the operation in SPC5 Studio with Autodef Kit plugin installed. After launching SPC5 Studio, we select the SPC582 to be the evaluation board for the microcontroller. Then we select the I2S driver and we import the demo called Engine Sound Simulator with connector board. We proceed with generating the project and compiling it. Once completed, we open UDE to download both the runnable code and the .x file containing the audio samples to be played. We open the project containing the audio files and we program them into the microcontroller flash. In the second step, we load the executable code inside the microcontroller. We are now ready to run our demo. At this point we have mounted the demo and we are ready to run it. Remove the USB cable to reset the microcontroller and reconnect it. Now clicking on the user button SW2 user placed on the MCU board, the application moves from mute to play state. We shall hear a sound corresponding to the engine turn on first and engine neutral soon after. Using the volume bar present on the slider board, we can increase, decrease the volume sound. 
With the other slide identified with speed, it's possible to simulate the car engine acceleration deceleration. The application features real-time monitoring of several fault conditions. We shall test the open load fault while in play or in mute state. Upon disconnection, a red LED in the MCU board is turned on, indicating that a fault is present. Reconnecting the speaker, we shall expect that the same red LED will be turned off, indicating that the fault has been solved. Same steps could be repeated to test the open load in mute state. Through J4 present in a connector board, we extend the application by introducing a CAN communication to implement remote control of the audio system. Several audio systems could be placed around the vehicle and controlled by a common central unit that we have implemented using SPC58 EC chorus and a commercially available small display. As shown, by clicking on the touch display, we can start the car engine sound. The same effect is obtained by pressing a button on the AKE MCU C4 Amlet 1. The four demonstrating the capability of remote control for the audio system. Thank you for your attention. For more information, visit wwst.com slash autodefkit or join our line community at community.st.com slash autodefkit. Thank you.